and we'll call it uh, signup.css and we'll take this CSS put it in here get rid of this white space start closing these tabs out so we don't have too much open at once excuse me we don't need to have this closing style because this is going to become a link and the rel will be style sheet and the href will be css slash signup dot css okay so the goal is to externalize uh, to as much code as we can so that it's reusable so it seems like everything here so let's change the title it's part of the process of a uh, setting up the template keep looking here okay I'm gonna look at my checklist so we added the sign up error um, we also have to remember that JavaScript is case sensitive so when we go to the JavaScript sign up JS we need to make sure that this is a capital P originally this was lowercase but I fixed it so remember that JavaScript is case sensitive Another thing I did while you guys weren't really looking, I went into my template.java and I changed the home icon to this image of a house I found and I really liked it and I'll show you what it looks like. It looks a little better in a web browser. So I'll open it in Firefox and we will wait for it to load come back here and I have a little picture of a house here instead and if somebody turned images off I have an alt um, let's see I have an alt of home so it'll show the home instead now to get that effect I made the home uh, 24 pixels high 20 fix 24 pixels wide and on the sign up or actually it's a on the template.css I added vertical alignment top to every anchor tag that's in a navigation bar okay so that's what made everything line up appropriately so we have that alignment so something that I would like to have is I don't really like that this is a pure white background so what I'm going to do is use the debugger um, so I'm going to show you how to use Firebug real quick. Uh, use this to select an element. I'm going to select this and find out what the color of the text is. So that's right here. I'm going to take that and I will change the background or excuse me, um, body background will be this color except I'm going to make it uh, one darker. So that'll be B eight three b three save it and we'll come back here to see if it okay so we'll refresh this and it's better than a white background and it kind of fits our theme because it matches this color a little bit and it, it just brightens up your page a little bit so we have a nicer background now and uh, we did the day plus one uh, so something that's important is making sure that you import your JavaScripts in the correct order. Uh, your jQuery and jQuery I should obviously come first. Validate should come before sign up because validate declares functions and uh, sign up uses those functions so that order matters. Something I don't like about the date picker is that it's so humongous. I think that's really big. So what I like to do is for the template CSS I will apply dot date picker because that's what this thing's class is so we can open firebug select this element and we can see that this is a uh, that's not that that's not that UI date picker so that's what we should be interested in is a UI date picker so that's what we should put here as the class and what I'm going to do is set the font size to be 12 pixels format that save it come back here refresh 
see if that helps. So it's significantly smaller. It looks like this is about the same size as this, and that's the kind of effect I was going for. So it's another thing off the checklist. And something else that would be nice is, well, we have rules for a birthday. You can't be born after today's date. So what you can do is add options. So we have to go to signup.js. And when we make our date picker, we can give it options using the object notation. And we can say the max date is, uh, I guess, 0D which means, most likely means today. Um, so we'll save and check that out, see if that's right. Okay, so you see it's today now. You can't choose these days now. But you still can choose those. Some other options I like are show other months is true. Select other months true and change year is true change month is true format this save it come back here so since it's a birthday you want people to change the you want them to be able to change the month easily you want them to be able to change the year easily so they don't have to uh, use this button go one month at a time and this will let you see other months and select those other months so those are the options that I added another thing I like to do is I like to start this off as disabled okay so we'll come back here refresh it and it'll be disabled and I would only enable it when all the input was valid. So we'll get rid of this, uh, close this, close that. Uh, we'll keep that open for the moment, close that. Um, and we'll come here and we're just going to make a utility function, a function that's just going to test all this stuff. So uh, is all valid. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all